Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach simple inventory system using Spring Boot application. This is a simple sp uh, uh, inventory management system without connecting the database, right? So here uh, there will be the items. Okay, there are various items flavors are there: chocolate, mango, vanilla, strawberry, mixed fruit. Now, if you want to buy buy the item of chocolate, if you click on this one, it asks to import the quantity how many quantity you want right let's enter to click add button if you click outside hey it will be added successfully here yeah. to it quantity two this is the uh, final total now if you add the mango also one click here it will be added successfully right if you want to buy another item strawberry favorite five click add button it added successfully right it's working perfectly well after after done the sales if you click reset it will be reset Okay, if, after that you can, if you want to add another customer, you can give here, right? It's very simple system. Okay, uh, let me see how to do the system step by step in our Spring Boot application. So first what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to go to Google, right? Here, first I'm going to type Spring Initializer. We have to download the Spring Initializer. Right, Spring Initializer, click on this one. First, we have to choose the project name here, right here. Here, I'm going to choose the product name as Ice Cream Inventory. You have to give the proper name, Ice Cream Inventory. Java version, you have to check your machine, which version you are installed in your machine. You just go to the command from, you have to type Java iPhone version, press enter key. You have installed the Java version 8, so you have to check out 8, okay? The, the version should be important, which version you are installed in your machine, right? okay? According to the version, you have to install the Spring Boot initializer, right? After that, you have to add the dependencies. Dependencies is a must. So first, we have to add the th, this one, tf, leaf, right? This one should be the interact with our HTML, right? After that, we have to add the uh, my uh, my SQL Spring Web. This one also we needed. Second Spring Web. After that JPA. This one. After that my SQL. Okay. We have to need it. right. This four dependencies we have added. Right. This is interact with our HTML. Here it will be telling. Right. Okay. This is the thing we have to do. After done the stuff, we have to click on the generate. Now you will be able to see the file will be here. It will be uh, prepared now. Uh, after done the stuff, you have to open your Eclipse ID. Uh, Eclipse ID, if you are not installed Eclipse in your machine, you must install your app, um, Eclipse in your machine. So how to install the Eclipse, I no need to explain. I think you all, I hope you all know about that. Uh, you just go to the Google, you have to type Eclipse Java this one should be the not developer, it's an enterprise version, right? Java, Eclipse Java. You just type on this download, you will be able to get these two things, okay? Uh, here you have to uh, download this Eclipse for enterprise edition. Enterprise, right? This is not a developer, enterprise edition. You will be getting these things, right? Okay, now after that, we have to go to here, okay, okay, go here, import. You have to import the file into your Eclipse. Here you have to go to the, this one should be the general. General, project this one, project follow this one, right? You have to click next, click on this one. Here where you download the file, in my download uh, downloadable folder. Today date we have to select this one, this is one of our file, right? Ice cream uh, inventory, select and open it. It will come in look like this. Okay, here this Maven dependency also added. You have to check in this one. This one we no need, only this one. Click on select on this one. Click finish. Right. Now here, your dependencies, is this all the project will be configured here. Here you will be able to see here, what is the project you are configuring. This all the th things you are configuring into our Eclipse. Right, it configured successfully. Now you can find the folder on this folder explorer here. Uh, here, this one your project, right? Ice cream uh, inventory, right? So expand it 
uh, here you just expand it this one should be your main method okay this is the main method this is called as package com dot example dot ice cream this is the main method of java right this is the main method where you run the file okay in core java also when you are uh, when you are run the application you have to write the write it into a main method right this this one should be the main method right now i am going to go to create first one should be the view okay view is the okay view we have you create here is go to the this is your src main resources you have to expand it inside here you have a two folders are there one thing is a templates static templates this one should be the html to interact, interact with this one okay so select this template folder right click you have to new select others okay you have to type html this is the html file right click next here we have to i just give the name as index.html sorry so all the capital simple right click finish now your html project has been created successfully here uh, now what i am going to do is see i have already done this design stuff here this file okay uh, how to done this design i already done this video here this one okay okay this one we have to control a to copy uh, control say so select all control c to copy this one you have to paste it over here right this is simple jquery design you don't worry about that this all the source code i provide into my website you will be able to download it okay okay this one should be the simple one okay j how to do the things right so first we have to write the html html cross inside the attack we have to uh, write the bootstrap fly, uh, bootstrap right so here how to copy this one go to the bootstrap website click on this one get get started you have to copy css and jss okay after that this one should be the css file this has a js file both are you copied and put into the put in inside the attack right you have to call it like this after that you have to design the nav bar right this is the heading of the this one heading right heading okay after that we have to make the simple design over here this is simple design we have to make it right very simple design uh, these are the photos these are the photos right photos are coming from the images folder right how to put the images folder here this one we have to put into the some images and your J, jquery all the stuff you have to put into the static okay here if you expand it you have a two folders are there static and uh, templates uh, html file you have you have to put into inside the template folder other files you have to put into the static right so static i am going to put into the images folder all the stuff here these are these are the images i have to put it here these are the images right these are the images so i have a uh, images in my this this folder i just copy same thing you have to do okay you have to uh, create the images folder these are the images for you have to put it to the relevant images and copy and paste it here don't worry about i will provide the course code and everything you will be able to work okay right after that what i am going to do is here now here images came successfully after that what i am going to do is here you have set the path here simply here this file is here inside the template folder index.html we have to call into the relevant directory so you just type the name of the image folder images uh, inside the images folder there will be the file called chocolate.ice.jsp uh, jpg this is the image type okay, this is how we have to name the images we have to call the images it is come no problem right? this is the thing we have to do okay these are we have to design the form right after this is the table we have created uh, once you select the image uh, select the ice cream ice cream uh, it asks to enter the quantity after that the quantity will be stored or your product information will be stored in this table right right okay now here this is one should be the model right this model means that when you are asking the quantity this model should be displayed right this is a model dialog it will be uh, asked to enter the quantity right right here this one should be the our java uh, jquery codes right we have to set the create the variable starter variable dot 
we have to write like this so here we have a select the images right we have to select the particular image img we have to get the uh, id okay here if the a what is a what is a image you are selected it put into here if it is ice ice cream it will be added the relevant information mango vanilla strawberry it added the relevant information right after that it it, it should all the information will be added the relevant table like this right simple okay this is how we have to calculate the total right this is a delete button right when you click delete button this function will be work okay it will be delete the particular row this is the function which we work okay right now let's do the things simply right uh, you have created the design view for the successful is a design view now i'm going to go to create a controller right so how to go the give the controller this is your project select the project new package this is a package you have to write the package this is a package click on the package okay here we have to write the same thing you have to write com com dot example the same thing right this is the efficient way to create the pack uh, controller right example this is a folder right this folder name control c to copy control v to paste here dot you have to provide the controller name over here okay what is the controller name you have created right i have created the ice ice sorry ice controller ice controller i just give you a ice you have to you can create ice inventory controller like this i just simply create ice controller 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 you have to make sure the name of capital this one this is the efficient way to create the controller click finish now your controller has been created successfully here right now the create the create select the controller right click new you have to add the class file this one you have to create as ice inventory 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 i just type the name okay we have to click finish you have to get the empty things like this now here this file we have to make it as a controller annotation over here above here right so i already written no need to waste my time so i just put it here right okay this can this this annotation will be recognized you click on this one you have to add this one click here it will be show import the controller click on this one it is imported to your frame okay now the errors go away but this is how we have to create the controller inside the controller we have to create the this same thing i explain it you have to map this one right now here we have to write this one also we have to click on this one import the request mapping this import the package right request mapping value here also again we have to write the request method this this method also we have to import it right okay. now we have to write the request mapping value index method get request by get mean we have to get the values from the web page right which page index method right this index method we have written index method uh, public we have to write the index math uh, string index we have to return the value index mean it, it it will be returning the page which you are creating the index page what is the page you are returning index.html you don't have to type the html uh, extension it is automatically taken if you are giving the uh, in controller over here right index it automatically get, getting the values if you are putting the uh, request method get it automatically return return to this index.html page and right? this is the thing you have to write okay after that what i'm going to do is here go to the application property we have to set it the all the port and everything over here now here i'm going to go to the here right simply we have to add this line control c to copy control b to paste over here we have to write here uh, this one we have to I'm, I'm not working with any database yet so that i have to put it here uh, mysql driver and here this all the stuff you have to put it as a null here also we have to put it here server port we have to give whatever, whatever port you want uh, if i give you as this port as 70 it will be work okay we have to make it as 20 whatever port you can give here what is the server port your uh, program will be run you can give any port over here all right simply your port this is the thing simple thing you have to write okay after that you have to one more thing you have to write your uh, index.html page here you have a javascript files component because the the if, if it is a jquery works 
in order to put it to these files, right? This file for this file, uh, this component folder, I already there. This folder, right? This folder we have all the relevant Bootstrap and J, J table and as well as a jQuery. This all the relevant files are there. Okay, so I have downloaded it. So I just copy this one and same thing. We have to put into a static. Static. Click on this one. Static. We have to paste it over here. Right now, here okay, it will be calling script src component inside the component folder we have a jquery file inside the jquery we have a file called jquery.js uh, then we have a jquery min.js the same thing we have to do very simple we have to write the structure like this very easy stuff to uh, write the program right now when you are running the program this is your uh, this is your main main you have to add i am not going to work with any database you have to add this following line then only it will be work. Uh, wait, I'll be at the following line. Otherwise, it takes some error. Like this one, enable this one. You can also copy the same thing. You don't worry about. I'll provide the source code. Here we have to put it here. Your main method, okay? Uh, your main. This one should be there. Your controller, controller. This is the main method where you run the program. You have to uh, put it here. If you uh, paste it here, it will be automatically add the packages this one should be ex uh, exclude uh, data source auto it, it, it's automatically configuration the database and everything here right it will be run now after done the stuff click on this one ice uh, inventory application dot java right click run as java application if you are run it it will be take some time to configure it configure successfully you can check here if the stream good is working successfully or not if you get this message you are working successfully uh, it is show the error uh, fail configuration URL uh, right what is the error we have to save all we already we have done the stuff again we have to go here this is your file we are, are running it is not this okay. again we have to run application right this all the stuff we are did is success correctly what is the problem again we have to run this one right now it's working successfully because what the problem is here is i have done the stuff all the stuff i forgot to save them then it, if there is no error if you if you are getting any error it will show the error now here it's working successfully here it's working no problem now how to execute the how to run the program here is go to the google here you have to type the port which port you are given here which port you are given here check the port this port right so control c to copy this port localhost it is running inside the localhost you have to paste this port here what you have copied here press enter key on your keyboard now it's working successfully this is which port it is running if you click on this one if you click add one add it okay mango it will be added right. it's working perfectly well. this is how we are work with the spring boot simple application development uh, if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime this all the source code i'll provide in my tutorsfunny.com website you will be able to get it here i will be uh, written how to do this program step by step Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.